Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we are starting the farm of all farms. We are farming the God Roll Monarch from Kilovolt. Fish slap mixed with the Unleash the Dragon. Hopefully the one grenade can get him down below his shields. There we go. And then if we stand far enough away with the Guardian Angel, the fish slap grenade from the Cartels DLC should one-shot him. There we go. That's about as clean as it can get. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, no, no Monarch we go again. The counter goes up by one. So the odds are one in 270. That is taking into account all the different variations of parts. And as Monarchs drop, I will be going through with you guys the parts I'm looking for. I'm allowing some variation, and that includes element. I'm not going for any specific element quite yet because I don't have any element of the times eight Monarch that I'm like, that have like, you know, anything usable. So I'm going to get a usable one first and then move on from there. There we go. As long as he doesn't go into his, his giant immunity invisibility phase, I'm happy. Keep the action skills going. T toss grenades. Ooh, just barely missed my timing window. That's okay. I don't quite have the full best caster flak setup complete yet. I don't have a peregrine class mod, which is what a lot of it is built around. However, what I do have is a fish slap with a guardian angel and unleash the dragon. So that's going to be enough to get this job done for a good amount of these runs. All of them if I do it properly. All right, nothing. Run again. But some of the parts we're looking for, number one, the grip. So the grip is what makes it a times eight instead of a times four. And it has a 20% chance to drop. So that's going to be a big one for us. Loot Lemon does have that it's like an 18.3%. I, there's five different grip options. They're, all of them are pretty close to 20%. I like to think that maybe it is 20%. All right, toss. If we stand far enough away, maybe we'll get it. Did we do? Very nice. All right, what we gotta do is stand far away. So the Garden Angel makes us do more damage the further we are away. Okay, here comes the gun. And we get it in time. All right? There we go, we do. Sick. Very quick kills. Oh, that's a Monarch, maybe. Clear out these enemies. Very good. And I have my Garden Angel that I have, I've got two I wanted to try out. The one I have now is on action skill and increased melee damage, which will increase the damage of my fish slap, which will increase the damage of my Unleash the Dragon. My Unleash the Dragon also has melee damage on it, which is actually pretty easy to get. I actually set up an entire farm thing for this Unleash the Dragon. Um, an entire farm graphic. But when I went to go practice the farm to make sure I knew what I was doing, I got on the second run. So here we are. We've got a really good Unleash the Dragon, the best you can have. Let's, let's check out this first Monarch. There, it looks very nice. It's Cryo. I would take a Cryo, even though it's one of my lesser wanted ones. But let's take a look at the parts. Okay, hey, right off the bat, it has all three body accessories. The damage, the fire rate, and the accuracy bloom. I included the wanting the accuracy bloom one in my final odds. However, I'm not sure if I would take it. I don't think I necessarily 100% need it. This one has all three barrel accessories, which is perfect. All right, we're starting to get a little bit good here. Okay, for the grip, we do not get the times eight. We do get the best times four version, though. And for the foregrip, we get the the damage one as well. This is an absolutely amazing and the reload time rail. This is a this is a god roll for times four. For times four, I believe this is a one hundred percent god roll. You get the grip and the foregrip both with damage. So this is this could be projectiles, but if it's not projectiles, I still think damage is the best. And for foregrip, this is. Yeah, this is the, the highest, the best foregrip as well. That's crazy. And the rail can be one of three different. It can be a like a bigger scope. It can be this reload time one, or it can be iron sights. And it can only roll this one 25% of the time. This is a really good drop. This is exactly what we're looking for. This bad puppy right here is exactly what we're looking for. Except, wait, is it? Yeah, is this, that's what we're looking for except in a times eight which it looks like it's shooting eight bullets right now but might be bugged that's that's i think i'm getting two fangs sometimes that's what it is maybe who knows okay very cool we got ourselves a nice monarch the the annoyment is anything crazy on it but that's a really good monarch it's for a times four that's as good as it gets that's a good that's a nice indicator show us like what exactly we're looking for all those exact same parts except 
the grip needs to be the extra projectile grip. Okay, let's go back to our guardian angel. Okay, killable. Let's see what you got. I'm just gonna stand far away. Chuck a fish slap. If I do it properly, it should be completely fine. Don't move. Okay, it should be free. Got it. I'm not sure if I had to take that shot or not, but those kills are getting play pretty clean. Pretty clean if you do if I do say so myself. Very cool. So if you're wondering what's happening um, with this fish slap on least the dragon combo, it's it's simply because melee damage gets melee mayhem scaling. So on mayhem 11, it gets really high damage scaling, and the fish slap does melee damage when it hits. And then they at least they unleash the dragon. What it, that does is it on melee it, when you hit someone with a melee attack, it's 100% ignite chance, um, and so that does a a huge dot. So most of our damage is coming from the dot. Get to our position. Get action skill end going. Toss one nade. Just like that. Nothing too crazy with it. As long as we keep tossing our... Our birds. Oh, he got up. I made a mistake with the damage there. That's okay. Now luckily, luckily on my fish slap, I have on action skill start reg regenerate one grenade. Although I probably could have melee damage, I think, on that. Um, but as of right now, I don't have the Peregrine class mod. I have a Rack Commander, which will help me regenerate a little bit faster. But that's all I got. All right, killable. I killed your lads. Come back down. And I'll never run out. And all it takes is one grenade. It's the dot. See how see how big the dot is? Oh, we go down. Does there a ledgy drop anyways? Doesn't matter. Thanks, homie. Thank you very much. Very cool. I'm happy to get that, that first cryo one. That was pretty sick. As far as a cryo weapon, like the cryo monarch, that's nice. The reason I want the times eight, when normally I would always go for a times four, is because the times eight has better synergy with the stack bot class mod from Flak. The stack bot reads whenever flak scores a critical hit they gain increased weapon damage until they don't score a critical hit this affects stacks so the stacks up to 99 times for 495 percent weapon damage and if i can get the times eight monarch use the bipod to get to a times 16 if you take 99 divided by 16 which is i wish i had that arithmetic in my head four five six seven seven ish i think set after seven shots fired you'll be of max stack bot and you can just rip people with it you max that you mix that with a vlad off company man with max size and you're off to the races okay fish slap me it hits good work just gotta pay attention okay one two that should have been a nice hit i did it a little bit early i can wait a little bit longer for the Garden Angel again, you just want to stand far back. As far back as you can. You get damage scaling based on how far back you are. Just like that. And good night. Sorry, Killavolts. Ooh, you dropped me something? What is it? Oh! It looks like a... I'm not too sure what it looks like, to be honest with you. It'll make me get up. It'll make me get up, Zealot. Good night. All right, it's a nine volt. Consecutive hits, nine volt, but a nine volt nonetheless. All right, there's six runs. We're expecting to get ourselves at least one version of this monarch in 270 rounds. Um, I could, I could definitely speed up the runs by, you know, entering and exiting faster, making sure that I clean up my kills. But I feel like this is going to be one of the fastest, most efficient ways to kill this guy. Up. Toss me. There we go. This is the hardest part right here. Okay, he's hittable now. That's okay. There we go. When he starts, when he reaches for his pistol, is when we take the shot. Okay, let's get out of here. So the Monarch is one of Flak's best overall weapons, and having a, I want one that can just boss shred. And the issue that I'm having right now on Flak is that the Light Show is a good boss shredder. The King's Call is a good boss shredder. But 
for the kings and queens calls i have to mash i'm not a quick a quick masher and i feel as though the light show is just not quite strong enough to push through some of the game's hardest bosses maybe that's my own fault i mean i mean it definitely is strong enough but i want something like the monarch to to like really you get the stack bot up and running i really want to get that stack bot like inside of i need a weapon that within one fade away can rinse a, a raid like, that's what i'm looking for the delay show can do it but i think that it would take a little bit more than one magazine a little bit more than one fade away with the light show i want a monarch with a times with 16 pellets just going and see if i can eliminate things that fast okay we're we're min maxing here but i really want a one fade away destroyer and i think the monarch might be able to get me there i don't know what anointment i want on it consecutive hits versus I think it's weapon damage while in fade away. I, mean, I think well, based on what I just described, I do want fade away active. So what if I stayed back here, don't jump over the radiation, only jump over the, the shock. Go. That's pretty clean. That's really clean, actually. Just wait for him to reach for his weapon, then throw your grenade. There you go. He reaches for his weapon, throw your grenade. Oh, a little bit late. Okay. Back on up. Playing flak, you get your action skill back basically instantly all the time. What's up, Killavolt? <laughs> you, you came back. Okay, that's gonna be it. You can get this weapon from the tank of. No, it's, it's one of the true trials bosses. It's an I might go true trials route, but honestly, like this route seems like it's a, a decent amount of combat for me. If you're wondering about the skills, um, the skills are the exact same as my other fadeaway flak builds. I didn't really do anything different. This is purely a gear manipulation strategy. Guardian Angel plus Fish Slap plus Unleash the Dragon. I wanted to try this this other one out that bo doesn't boost melee damage, but it boosts elemental stats effect damage. This is my other Guardian Angel, which I figured would be de pretty decent. A little bit early, maybe. It's going to hit. Take a shot. Nice, good. That seems usable. Doesn't seem bad at all. I right, grab my radium and my cash. Get out. So yeah, I ended up with two garden angels. One that gives me elemental damage, and another one that gives me melee damage. So like to me, I'm like, okay, well, and it's the same trigger. So it's the same trigger between both of these. Action skill end. Action skill end. For a short time. Well, I think the melee damage is probably better, but I don't, I don't know. Elemental, maybe. You don't have to jump over the initial hit. You gotta jump over that one. Then it hits. Ooh, we almost can one-shot him. I think this one is a little bit better. You chucking? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm letting him get away with that. Get him, Rex. So yeah, how the Peregrine works, the class mod that I would like to get, and I might get it um, soon here, is whenever your, actual, your racks hit, they drop one, uh, one of your grenades. So my fish slap will just drop at the, at the target location of the racks. So I'd never have to throw a grenade again if I don't want. And with the, with the annoyment I have in my grenade, I can just spam action skills and always get my grenades back. Pretty, honestly, it's... It's a pretty insane combo. Go for the one shot. Go. Oh man, it's so close. That's a good hit. Nope, not a good hit. Dang. Maybe I, need, I can walk maybe a little bit closer up to make that easier on me. It's not that hard to just clear out these these lads, and I I use my action skill enough to never have to really buy am grenades from the vendor. All right, kill level. I'll see you later. Ooh, there's a a laser exploder. Okay, you get you you drop something. It wasn't what I was looking for, but at least you drop something. On number twelve. This farm seems like it's gonna be a pretty good farm. Honestly, I if you can get one of each element within two hundred seventy runs, be pretty sick. 
problem is once you start pushing different elements since like i can't get it if it's shot because i already have one that's shot that's when it gets a little bit tricky can i toss one right away here no and he disappears okay I gotta be a little bit more careful does not have to go through not only his his jump away phase but his immunity phase at the end of this One, one grenade to get him into that phase, and then he's gonna walk around all mad for a second. Can I? I'm sorry. There we go. He goes down. If I can, I need to find a way to speed that up. If I can, maybe take a, maybe use a dead eye. A dead eye class mod might be good for this. I'm not too sure. To increase the dead eye increases your your damage against enemies that are much higher on health or that are high on overall health i don't think i've brought a dead eye with me i didn't that's okay i have a super soldier on that my shield doesn't really help me at this point that much let's wait a second and then chuck just like that okay i'll get up a little bit closer this time get him pat reach for your gun reach for your gun there we go. There we go. Nice and clean. I like these kind of farms where where it's the farm is easy enough that you can get it done, but only if you play it well. When I was when I was farming from my mitosis hunter seeker, that was kind of like how I was feeling. How I I really had to focus on hitting those ricochets in order to make it a an efficient farm. And if I didn't, the dragons got away, right? And it became a super obnoxious farm. All right, Chuck. They slap hits. Walk a little bit forward. Keep my eyes on them. Keep, keep my action skill on the end. A little bit early. A little bit early. Yep, and he gets away. Oh, early on the on the nade tosses. It's gonna, it's gonna get me down. It's gonna hit, right? Yeah. Get him, pet. Look how, it's like this, this, this build is unbelievably strong. Boom, um, see ya. Monarch me. The flood. Okay, some of, you, some of you guys might be like, hey, how come we don't use the Schluter? Um, it's because I need to unleash the dragon for this build to work. But also, the odds of someone dropping a, a perfect roll Monarch, not very good. I'd rather just have the visual clarity of not having a bunch of legendaries drop on the ground. All right, let's get, make this one nice and clean, nice and perfect. Jump. Use my action skill. This one hits. Should do big deeps. I miss it. Hmm. I messed that one up pretty, pretty bad. I'm not too sure what I did wrong. Maybe I was a little bit too close to him. Get hit. There we go. Once we get to this point, it's pretty simple. Nice. Oh, once once that gets going, it goes crazy. A nine volt man, no monarch. How dare he? How dare he? Hopefully I can clean up that kill because I don't if I do it right, I'm pretty sure without RNG I can get him to not jump away at all. We'll see. Jump over this. Okay, is that gonna do the trick? It is going to do the trick. A little bit closer. Make sure my action skill stays on that 10 second timer. Toss it. No way that doesn't hit. Wow, that timing is precise. I can probably get away with doing it like slower. Like I'm trying to do it instantly. I can I can probably get away with doing it a little bit slower. There we go. What you got? Monarch? Nope, but devoted. Get out of here. <laughs> you just bounce it off of them and then they they just burn for all their health. It's so funny. It's such a good combo. Such a good combo, and, and all characters can do this. I think Amara does this like the best. 
the flak it's really funny because you can use the peregrine i mean does it make sense to to do it in fade away maybe it does but this is working jump over cost me it hits he goes down there we go very nice we're paying attention we're watching closely strut left strut right gone out ah oh, he fades away a little bit more patient next time as long as we're i think far away enough right here is, is good can i kill a vault Having the bonus melee damage is good for that initial hit. This having the bonus elemental damage seems to be really good for the for the follow-on hits. So we'll see which one ends up working out better for us. I'm happy to have both, to be honest with you. I also have a a face puncher with the melee anointment, which is kind of sick. Lost me. Hit ya. Oh, that, that's good damage right there. All right, so he struts one way. He struts the other way. Then he, then he pulls out the gun. And then he gets one shot. Are you kidding me? This guy's got... This guy's got problems. More problems than I can help him with. Just come back, homie. I promise I'll make it quick. See? I told you. I said I promised. I think I might have figured out something in this fight. Is it? Does he jump away if he's taking damage? And if I can, I think it might be my racks or my pet or something that's triggering his his go away, whatever it is, his jump. If I can stop that from happening, either by not throwing my action skill, which would feel weird, but maybe do that. How'd that not hit him? There we go. We have to throw it off to the side, like back there or there or something, right? Two. Stomp, stomp. Chuck me. Like right there, it feels like that should be an absolute hit. Like I, I hit it right at the right time. In my mind. Okay, you're gone. And here comes my lad. See ya. Anything for me? Nope. Doesn't look like you got anything for me. All right, I'm out of here. 20 runs. Hey, 20 runs in the books. Looks like we're getting about a run per minute, honestly. Which is nice. Six, get 60 runs. Get this job done in four or five episodes. I mean, usually the game gives me a little bit of a... Gives me a little bit of a bone. I've been getting really lucky recently. Toss me. Chuck me. Okay, here we go. What if we did what if we did quantity over quality? Yeah, a little bit maybe a little bit of quantity over quality. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about saving our money. We just what if we just spammed him? Instead of having to hit one nice shot, we just hit him with a bunch of mediocre shots that are also one one tap. I think that could be good. Electricity Scranton. What? The electricity. All right, let's go. Toss my action skill immediately upon entering the arena. Just slap him. There we go. Use my action skill once, twice to get my grenades back, and then I'm just going to start fish slapping. Yeah, so far with the spam strat, he hasn't jumped away once. Another 9 volt. You betrayed me. <laughs> I think, honestly, spam strats might be the way to do it. Might be the way to do it. So far, we're two for two with that strategy. And I'm at 13 grenades. I'm not going to run out anytime soon, I don't think. All right, use my action skill runs. I jump in. Fish slap him. That should drop him. Yeah, beautiful. Give him one. Give him two. Once he stops strutting, we start chucking. Ooh, okay. Bad timing. I waited that time. And that waiting is what ended up getting me. I should get a guardian angel plus my action skill damage. 
We get him right on spawn. Oh, I didn't actually imagine though. Okay, let's get out of here. 22 runs in the books. Meat wagon 22. Shoutouts to an OG YouTube goat. Very cool. All right, Killer Vault, this is the one. He's like, you made a guide on YouTube on how to tell people how to kill me. So I'm not gonna let you, I'm never gonna drop you a Monarch ever again. And that, I can respect that. If that's why he's not gonna do it, I can respect that. All right, let's go. Chuck, Chuck, never stop the Chucks. That's guaranteed. Oh my gosh. And well, guess we gotta wait for him to come back. I wonder if there's a more efficient way to do it. I really don't think there is. I mean, we are. Maybe we can get a one shot on him. If we had like a dead eye class mod or something. Okay. That's all we got. Got, got. We spawn in with four. I think we spawn with four charges of rack attack. It's pretty insane. We don't have to really spam it. We can do. We can do. You know, concentrated smart fire. Okay. No. Action skill me. I'm not gonna get the bonus damage. Oh, I am. Okay, okay. One. Stand back a little, maybe? Actually, I can walk forward. Got him, got him. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have to be that far back. Be beautiful, beautiful. Those runs feel good. That, that, those runs make me think, like, okay. That's, that's what I need to do. We're getting close to that to that 10%. Like, get it in the first 10%. That's how so you know you got a double lucky. So if we can make it before 27 rounds, or 27 rounds, that'd be sick. Rack me. Jump me. Toss me. Ooh, yeah. Right, rack me. Keep me within that 10-second threshold. A little bit early. A little bit early. It gets away. Dang. I still hit him? Is he like still there or something like that? That'd be awesome. Like if you if you're like truly a a, a gamer, you could always kill him. One more grenade back before we end the fight. <laughs> Where are my monarchs, brother? You know what I'm saying? Hey, get out of here. Where, I mean, imagine you're playing flak for the first time, and. You hit, like, it takes you so long to take this guy down. That being said, he gave us a, a Monarch on the second run. Like a really good cryo one. Can't be complaining about that. Okay, let's do, let's do this. The first one is pretty simple. We just chuck it. We get the extra melee damage. This one's a lot harder. Pulls out his gun. I hit him right on time there. I got gypped. Alright, come on. Is that how it's gonna be? I'm just gonna run. Yeah. I don't wanna use a revolter because revolter doesn't do any damage to this guy. Ooh, a monarch. Okay, okay. It's got a blade on it. Let's go check out his parts. How did you manage to survive that, huh? Get hit. Cool. Alright, so we got ourselves a monarch. You know this cryo one is goaded with a sauce. So let's go see how the parts are on this bad boy. Storming, I'm not too sure if that's the right barrel name, but it's got all three barrel accessories, or body accessories, very cool. All three barrel accessories, very nice. The grip is the right grip for it times four. The foregrip is not the correct foregrip. The magazine, I believe it, the magazine always run, runs the same. Could be wrong about that. My, this one's 40. This one's 40. My old one is 40. I believe they're all going to be 40. Okay. The magazine's fine, and the rail is the correct rail. So this is a really nice shock monarch. The only thing that I did not roll with is the foregrip. 
But as far as the Shock Monarch goes, I mean, that's that's pretty nice. It's times four, it's not times eight. And it's not quite God Roll status, but it's close. Just seeing one part. And the only reason it's, I'm not saying it's a, uh, it's technically missing two parts if you're going for a times eight. But if you're not going for a times eight, then it's, it was only missing one part. It feels good to get that, to get that little taste, that little, that sweet little taste of the revolt, of the, of the monarch. Okay, let's go. Keep this nice and clean. Toss it. It should do enough. That's a big mistake. You know what? That's a reset angle. Standing too close to him. If I'm going to stand that close, it's not going to be effective. Getting myself a Rat Commander or a Peregrine with melee damage on it, action skill, cooldown rate on it, would also help me in the situation. Like, there's a lot of things you can do to make this stronger and better. Better, faster, stronger. So what I might do before the next episode is actually go farm myself a... Wow, that's a throw. Is go farm myself a Peregrine class mod. Make that part, make that its own series. Get a really nice one from DLC 4. The fantastic Fuster Cluck. Okay. Wow, those racks actually do a ton of damage. Okay. Night, nice, homie. How about another Monarch for me? A 9 volt. Not quite what I was looking for. In fact, not even close. So yeah, this, the times 8 is actually pretty, pretty rare. And that's what makes it kind of a hard farm. But it looks like, I mean, we've, the barrels and everything we've been getting has been pretty good. We've been getting pretty lucky with our uh, sights as well. Things are looking good. High toss. Toss. That should do a lot. There we go. Pay attention. Pay close attention. There we go. That was nice. Just gotta focus up and try to make sure that we hit it. I know there's I'm also looking for a shotgun. Um I'm looking for a times 25 stagecoach. I've, I've realized that that's a weapon on flak that I am missing. Like it's a really nice Jacob stagecoach. All right. Let's go, let's go. Get hit. Oh, that was quick. That was nice. That's another one. Oh, a little bit early. Dang. Wow. Well, just stand in the center of the arena. Try my best here. Hey, get away from me. Go my racks. They do. They honestly do a ton of damage. Look at that. I don't even need the grenade anymore. Well, maybe I do. Get hit. <laughs> oh, I'm down. There's a monarch. Get me, Squire. Forget about the loot. Okay, let's just let's just monarch this laddie. You did this to yourself. Another falls silent. All right, let's see it. Let's see these parts. It doesn't have a blade on it, which is a bad sign. Here we go. We got a non-elemental monarch. It's times four, which means it doesn't have the the grip that we want. Only two body accessories. You're missing the the. The blade, which also gives you bonus damage as well. Missing a barrel accessory, which is damage. The underbarrel bipod is always the same. The grip is the damage and recoil width, which is, which is fine. Good. The foregrip is wrong. You want damage on that. The rail is wrong. You don't want the accuracy. Instead, you'd rather have the reload speed. Uh, I mean, it's second best, probably. But not the best monarch in the world. It was a good try, but not the best. I'm still waiting for that times eight, and I'm hoping that the Normand's good on it because I do not have iridium, and I do not want to farm iridium. Right, let's go. Drop down. 
action skill right off the rip. That way it can end by the time I throw my first fish slap. Just like that. Okay, here we go. This is where all of our training comes into play. Now, that's a hit, right? Like, it might have hit his shield, but that's a hit. Okay. Mayhem 11 enemies just get insta destroyed. All right, monarch me. Nothing. All right, grab our radium and our cash. Let's get out. I, I'm wondering what kind of shield I could use. Maybe like, I think like a stinger or something. Isn't a stinger good for this? Right, you can use like an action skill start stinger. For even more mobbing potential. If there's ways to turn this build into like an absolute just destruction of humanity. To hit him right in his toes. Okay. Nice move, I guess. Oh, nice jump. There's no way you survive. Did you actually jump away from that grenade? He's just juking it. It's like straight up juking it. Wonder if I can shoot through that immunity phase with the. Can you get out of here, please? With the Blade Fury. There we go. I worked hard for that one. Give me something good. Mm, nine volt. Just for, just for messing with my pet. There you go. Catch. <laughs> like, why'd you have to do that? Hmm. So, it's this monarch I want. It's the Peregrine class mod I want. And I would say a stinger shield or some sort of shield that can help me with this portion of it. I'm sure there's a way to one-shot this guy. Little toe tapper. He doesn't like that toe tapper. Guarantee you that. Early. Are you kidding me? Oh. And to wait a second after he pulls out his gun. Just wait at him one more second. Oh, wow. Catch. Okay. He'll be back. Good night. What if I, I feel like, what if I went fade away and that way the grenade would crit? Is, is that like a thing? I'm not too sure. I could try fade away. But then I wouldn't be getting my action skill and buffs. This rack attack is giving me more grenades. Cross that. Toss you. Boom. Hey, good enough. Hey, more than good enough. My action skill on end. That's a hit. Oh, that's a... That's a hit. Hmm. I gotta get a more efficient way. This is just slowing me down. Make sure I keep my... Melee damage up and running. Okay. stuff go next run number 33 hopefully we can get ourselves to like 50 here 60 would be a nice round number to end up with i think tonight i'm going to be listening to the new york yankees broadcast while i'm in cleaning an office building it's gonna be sick timed it right just for the end of labor day oh yeah Gets away and he puts me down. You definitely win this round, Killer Vault. Tell you what. So it's just it's disappointing that sometimes I can get it really, really nice and efficient, and sometimes I can't. Like right now, I'm gonna have to go through his whole immunity phase again. Ow! Boom, 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 and the music change, change, changes, jazz. Later. Good night. Yeah, there's another run. Another one for the books. 34. I'm so happy I have the this run counter that I have now. Because like I can go up, I can go down. Like I can even zero it out if I want. It's so much simpler than what I used to have. So much simpler and easier to maintain. Yeah, let's go.
Let's have a nice clean one. Not that I don't ever try not to. It's just difficult, I feel like. Yeah, that's a nice start. Get around behind him or something. That's... Okay, if I just wait a second more, I feel like that could be a really good... Wait for him to expose his back or something and then go for it. That could end up being the ticket. 35 runs in. And he will drop me my Monarch. Like, he's wanting to. I could taste it. Like, if I give it to him, will he go away? Yes. What, what would be my, my number one element? My number one element would probably be... Non-elemental. But that... Pipe Dream. Corrosive would be kind of cool, actually. Because of the synergies with... Uh, the Green Tree or Orange Tree or something like that. Let's just get around behind this dude. Good for him to expose his back. Wait a second. Oh, he goes so quickly. So quickly. Maybe if I... If I, if I don't bring my pet with me... Is my, I think my pet is triggering it. I'm too fast or something. Night. See, because when he gets back, he takes the rest of that damage, if you like. Okay. Maybe, maybe getting rid of my pet for this fight could be important. But the pet is giving me elemental damage, so I'm not too sure. Yeah, the scorcher pet, the scorcher rat gives you elemental damage. So it's so it's so good. It's like one of your only ways to get elemental damage is flak in general. Hit him right in his toes. Reaction skill going. Oh come on! That felt like it was gonna be good. I want to see if I don't hit him when he gets back, what happens. Does he just take all the damage that was meant to that he was meant to take? See that? It feels like that chunks for some reason. Hmm. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get better. We're getting better and better as we go. More and more consistent, hopefully. And if I get a Peregrine class mod, hopefully that'll even help me out even more. Because the more grenades I can if I can spam it. What if I just okay, what if I just did full spam strats? Like there's guaranteed to be one on his feet, right? Guaranteed. Let's try it. You basically just stand here and spam both buttons. Action skill me. Fish slap me. Action skill me. Now to start fish slapping over and over and over again. Yeah, no way he can survive that, right? No way he can survive that. Nine volts. Okay. And I have a lot of money. I can just grab the... I can re refill my grenade ammo right there. It won't be that big of a deal. I can, fi I can figure that out. And a peregrine would definitely help me as well. I drop down. There. So what if I just keep chucking and don't stop? And then when he goes into his, his defense phase, toss all my action skills, and then just keep chucking fish slaps at the same time. There we go. Got my iridium. Save quit. Up one yeah that's nice i mean it's a little bit you know a little bit button intensive but hey it's a it's a quick kill i might end up going over to the the true trial version of this farm but this is a pretty good farm i feel like this is pretty efficient no way he gets away there holy cow never mind it's not efficient at all See it? Oh, leave that one. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna take two grenades to get this done. Okay, got him. Catch. Got him. Oh, Volkov rewards too. Sick. Oh, Monarch. Okay, Black Hole. The times for Monarch, but it has the right barrel. It's 150. Okay, let's check out these parts. 
Okay, it has, at least it has the melee. Let's see, two body accessories. This is acceptable. The only thing that's missing is the accuracy. Two barrels, not acceptable. This is missing parts. It's not a good gr grip. It's not a good foregrip. In fact, this, this is one of the r worst rules you'll see for a monarch. I think overall, I think that's about as bad as you can get. But that's what makes the good ones good. The, the bad ones being bad is what makes the good ones good, you know what I'm saying? That's what people tend to forget, I think. See, yeah, what I might do is I might farm for this, go farm for a peregrine, and then come back after I farm like a decent peregrine, and like, you know, and keep, and keep it going. All right, Guardian Angel. Up over the top. Got some fist slaps. There we go. Okay, once he starts walking back in front of me, I'm just gonna start spamming. Wow, it's crazy to me how we can get through that. What I'm looking for is a peregrine. I'm looking for a peregrine in finance, but I want a peregrine with melee damage on it. And action skill cooldown rate would be nice. Good night. I think I would even take uh, one with grenade capacity would be really nice too, but you don't necessarily need all that stuff. It's just the min max rolls. Go up one forty one, and then of course a shield. I the the shield the super soldier I think is fine. I don't think you need to change it, but I I think there are other shields that might do better, like roid shields or something, right? TV bonus melee damage or something. Okay, Chuck. Hey, that was pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. If we can, if they can all be that quick, we can definitely speed up our time. I think that was might have been under a minute, which is crazy talk. I would love to get, I really do want to get this, you know, this caster flak type build up and running because that would really turn, you know, my flak up to an 11. I've been, I've been doing, you know, oh, I really didn't. I messed that one up brutally. I really, I've done a lot of the fadeaway stuff so far, but I want to gather the components I need to make this build work. So that's what I'm doing. I've already got some of the pieces I need. I got the fish slap with the right anointment. I don't know if this is like that great or anything like that. Like I don't know that much about the fish slap. Hey, don't don't dash away. And slow down my farm. Yeah, we got him. Go next. I'm wondering if there's this other I'm thinking of like a shield that can boost up my melee damage. I'm thinking immediately think roid shields, like bandit manufactured shields. I don't know if that applies to the fish slap or not. But at the end of the day, it's like, how much percentage melee damage do we actually need if we're getting mayhem scaled melee damage? You know, isn't, is, are we already at diminishing returns as far as melee damage percentage points, you know? There we go, that was nice. Good, I think if I just keep my pet away from him, maybe, maybe that's the key. Ooh, that looks like a nice monarch. All right, it's 150 over 90. Let's clear him out. Is it a times eight? It's a times four. Understood. Let's still check it out. Times four, let's see. All three body accessories. All three barrel accessories. Very nice. The grip is good. The foregrip is bad. And it has iron sights. Okay. The iron sights I would not consider the best. In fact, in my rolls here, I in my odds here, one to one two seventy, I count for it not being iron sight and not being the accuracy boosting sight. I'm going for the the reload speed boosting sight. Over pretty much anything, because with the monarch I really wanted to reload quickly. Action skill, wait for it to end. Toss my nade. 
Cost two nades. There we go. We can do this. Got him. Yes. Good. Good work. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. Is those clean, crisp farms. Alright, what you got? Get him. Gotcha. Bring it on, homie. You strutting? You strutting? You strutting? Oh, right on time. What if I stand right here? That way when he struts back and forth, there's no way I miss. What if... What if we evolved? What if we took what we observe and we learn from it and we implement changes that make it better? Oh my gosh. Super sick. I like, I, I, I very much like this boss. I think this is one of the harder bosses in the game and I just, it's really fun. I, if, if the final boss of Borderlands 3 was Kill a Volt, it would be an insanely fun game. Yes or no? I mean, it still it is. It's a fun game, but... Alright, so figure out which way he's strutting. He's strutting back and forth this way. Let me wait. Boom. See so, ya. Yeah. That is exactly what we want. And the oh, Boom Saints, what's up? I'm out of here. You guys can deal with my pet the way you want, I guess. Okay, I think we go for we go for eight more minutes here. We, we wrap it up at the full hour or maybe we wrap it up. I'll tell you what, since it's the first episode. What we might do is we might get to 50 runs and call it there. And then next time you see me, I'll be out there out in the world getting myself a Peregrine class mod with a Schluter. Maybe even running this build. I need to get a Stinger as well. So. See what we do. Uh Oh. Please get him down. Oh, a tragedy. All these our two factors might line up. Oh my gosh. Later. Uh, let's get this guy below his his shield threshold. Oh, I just had the biggest sneeze of my life. Your weakness is noted. Can I? Right, give me something like a god roll monarch <laughs> air trooper but no action skill damage or action skill cooldown right or anything like that unlucky scrant and what the electric city i think that stinger what it does is it does novas around you when it breaks that it does novas around you that deal melee damage so it's like a way to have a melee damage nova is that really better than a snowshoe for mobbing i don't know Okay. Figure out which way he's shredding. He's shredding just like this. Let me just wait. Toss. No! This is your fault. Hey. I'm assuming it's Pat's fault, right? Oh, see you later. It's like playing the hunter in World of Warcraft. It's like, who pulled the mobs? Oh, it was the hunter's pet. Shocker. <laughs> Did he set it to passive? Yes. And then what happened? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, 49. Let's do this. If the game wants to be really nice to me, they drop me it off at this 50th run. Alright, let's go. Toss this. Right in the toesies. Got him. All right, strut, brother. Strut. Run to face us directly when, while he's strutting. Just like that. And we hit him with our grenade. Boom! That's efficiency. That's peak efficiency. Let's keep it going. We can we can see how many we can get in these last five minutes. See if we can push. Only efficient clears. Come on. I'm wondering how much the Peregrine class mod would help in a situation like this. Is like the goat when it comes to you know 
dropping fish slaps all over the map. Did enough. We did enough. We did enough. How could you? We trade. Night. He's back. Are we, are we bypassing it? No. Oh, imagine though. Here we go. Nice. Nothing except for cash, but I'll take it. And I don't think the stinger would necessarily help us out with this farm that much either. I'm just thinking about, hmm. Is there a shield that applies damage on hit for melee strikes or elemental strikes? Can I get a shield with the elemental novas on it? That's something worth maybe finding out. We could slap on an action skill and radiation. No, action skill and... Yeah, action skill and radiation. Do you think this this maybe? Action skill and radiation might might be kind of insane. We'll see. Catch him. Okay. I think it does quite a bit there. Hey, okay. face me. Catch him. There we go. Oh, wow. That was pretty sick. Okay. With, I think with maybe action skill and radiation, maybe we go even harder. And honestly, at the end of the day, we probably want a U-Rad, something U-Rad, right? Like a, like a U-Rad front loader. Can you get U-Rad on a front loader? I need to look that up if you can get U-Rad on front loader. Because if you can, I have a front loader. Let's try it. Boom. Okay. Swayze strutting. Oh, he's strutting kind of weird. Still got him. Yes, let's go. Beautiful. It feels like when my pet isn't, when my pet's not hitting him, it's it's pretty simple. Can I can I maybe interact with my pet? What I might do is for the next time is to get a respec in, and then when I come back. Don't spec my pet at all. Okay, action skill and bonus radiation damage. And with the toesies. Ooh, a little bit of a troll right there. Gotcha. There's got to be a shield that can help with this. There we go. We just have to wait for a second. That's not too big of a deal. Gotcha. See, look, see, if he hit his shield, it feels like maybe he gets a, a dash or something. I'm not so sure how it works. Okay, see you later. We got a couple more on us. If we get to 55, as long as we get it to within that hour. Hour-long farming videos, I think, is... It's been working for me. Been pumping it up. Okay. I just want to try to see. You can get extra charges of rack attack from this. Action skill and melee damage increase. I have that on my weapon, though. So if I can get that. If I can get melee. I want to see if you can get you. You rad under 50% radiation on a shield. I don't think you can. So, this is something for me to think about. I would call this our last one. Come on, go vault. Hit him. Make me want to come back. Make this nice and easy for me. Which way is he strutting? He's strutting this way. Got it. You got this. Come back to me, pet. Thank you. Boom. 
Just like that. Drop me a monarch. Drop me something. Okay, we didn't call it the last one before it was the last one. So now, okay, now it's the last one. You always have to call it. If you don't call it, then then it doesn't count. Now it's now we get the last one odds for sure. For sure. Okay, bring it on. Toss. Boom. It's down below his shield length. Figure out which way he's strutting. Toss one more action skill. He's strutting like this. Okay. Pet, come back to me. We got him, though. Nice. And Pet gives the left hook. No Monarch, though. Okay, well... No monarch in this video, but that's this is it's gonna be a fun, it's good, pretty fun farm. I, I really enjoy going for these one shots and watching Killable go down it's so easily. This is pretty fun time. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to some more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.